gum people. Well, a little more earning to hate, but this is kind of, I, I don't have as much as a problem with these types of incidents as I do when it's clearly unjustified. Now, I, I know that people are going to be saying I'm waffling and everything here, but look here. I don't think they should have used the dog, and I don't think using the dog was justified. However, what a lot of people like to come here and say all the time is he was a child molester. Who cares? He was this. Who cares? The reason why you should care, because if we allow government to ignore the rules on people we don't like, then they will gain power, and pretty soon they will be able to ignore the rules on anybody they choose. So that's why government should be held accountable. A guy that dogged this guy should be held accountable. That was unjustified force in my book. All the cops standing around allowing that dog to chew on him and not do anything probably should be charged or disciplined. But this guy's kind of a piece of crap. He's out there running around 100 miles an hour. He ran into a police car. He jumped out of the car after they shot at his car because he tried to hit or ram or whatever. I don't know. I'm sure the shooting was unjustified, but it was justified because the cops did it. So he ran after they shot his car up, but he jumped out of a moving car that ran into an occupied lady's car. So this guy was a menace when he was behind the wheel doing that. He never had a gun. He never shot at the cops. So the fact that he ran from the car that made him a danger and he's laying in the middle of the street, he wasn't a danger anymore. Using dogs and force and unnecessary force is wrong. I get it. The guy's a piece of shit. I don't have a whole lot of sympathy because he got bit. But you cannot get distracted and allow government to make the rules up on the people they choose that you agree with today because tomorrow you may not agree and it's too late. Once government is allowed to grow in power and ignore the rules and to do things that they want to because they can or because they should or because some people agree, that's a problem. This dog should not bite this guy in my book. Guys on the ground, long time, proned out, hands out, non-resistive. Sirens blaring in his ear. He cannot hear what the hell they're saying. Evidently, all these cops are so freaking stupid that they don't know how to turn off a damn siren. Now, I get it when you jump out of a car to scene and everybody runs that a siren will be on. This guy's on the ground. We've got him stabilized. There's no gun. We got him at gunpoint. This is what's called a basic felony stop. He's a fleeing felon. We do a felony stop. Prone him out. Have him follow. Normally right here, a guy would walk up with a cover unit, grab a hand, and handcuff the dude. And that's what should have happened. Let's check that gun point in front of that hall. Hey. Don't talk. Don't move. Don't move. Hey. Hey. Get on your knees now! Right. Get on your knees! Get on the Get on. So they have him proned out, and they could have walked up and handcuffed him, and they choose to start giving him orders with the siren blaring. To see, this is just incompetent. This is how cops can set people up to fail so they get to use their toys like their rubber bullets and their tasers and their dogs and whatever else they want to use because. They just don't care. Why should they care? They're never held accountable. It's ridiculous. I think he's pointing at his ear that he can't hear or that he's been shot and he can't move the right way. But the siren is blaring and everybody's yelling and the dog's barking and they use that as an excuse. He's not following orders and they dog him. Okay, lift your shirt up. Okay, so this is where they have a guy proned out. And, and see, this is where cops can manipulate the law. A felony stop, you prone a guy out. And you can either have him do this 
left leg in, right leg out, do the hokey pokey spin and say I was expecting him for weapons and I was inspecting him for any contraband or anything that could hurt me. So normally weapons are held at the waistband area. Therefore, I have them pull up their shirt and I have them do a 360 and I'm checking for weapons. Well, that's all fine and dandy. But when the siren's on and he's already proned out and he's already shown he's not resistive, walk up, you've got numbers. They've got at least eight to ten cops here. Eight to ten armed cops. Nobody's seen this guy with a weapon. So with the siren on and yelling directions, they set up and plan, in my opinion, to set this guy up so they can use their dog and get a bite. Because the guy's an asshole. Because he endangered. Because he did things that was stupid. I get it. I don't like the guy, but I don't like government abusing their power unchecked and unaccountable. Keep that up. Keep that up. Keep your hands up. Here's what I want you to do. I'm going to bring him back to us here. Yes, sir. Kneeling on concrete hurts. And most people can't do it for a long time. They're going to move. They're going to lose their balance. They're going to readjust. If you don't think so, go kneel out on concrete and see how it feels. Sir, stand up! Stand up! Still! And they release him. They tell him to stand up, and he stands up, and they release the dog to chew on this guy. Absolutely outrageous! And I know the idiot cops come come here. Rick, you're just defending the bad guy. He did dangerous. He was a scumbag. He had a... It doesn't matter, people. Government has to be held to the same standard and a higher standard because they have power and authority to seize people, to stop people, to search people, to put people in prison, to use deadly force. I mean, even judges can't pull out a gun and shoot somebody. They don't have the ability to pull out a gun and shoot somebody. Cops have the ability to use deadly force on the spot. They get to be judge and executioner on the spot. And with that type of authority and power comes huge responsibility. I feel like I'm talking to Spider-Man. He was on the ground and you made him stand up so you could release the dog. Out freaking rageous. Earning the hate. And cops that defend this and cops that want to blame me for pointing this out, saying I'm bringing heat on cops, I'm trying to get hot. You know what? You're the freaking problem because you won't address it. You won't stand up and do the hard thing. And that's why it continues. And that's why people are hating you. And that's why cops are getting shot. If cops stop their own and clean their own house and wouldn't put up with this shit, people wouldn't hate them. It would be easier to say, there's good cops out there. There's a lot of good... There's at least 8 to 10 to 15 freaking cops here and a sergeant, and not one of them has the balls to say, this is wrong, stop it. It's bullshit. So the dog's pulling him to one side and they want him to roll his belly. How can how can you comply? How can an order be it, it'd be like, jump off that bridge head first, jump off he didn't comply, I had to shoot him. He was non compliant. Are you freaking kidding me? He can't roll over. He shouldn't have been bit. He was already on the ground. You made him stand up so you could get a bite, so you could justify your dog. So next time when you need funding, because that's how funding works. How many times was your dog used? Oh, 47 times. Uh, and he, and he, got, he had to use, he had to bite, and we used him to maintain and uh, apprehend dangerous felons 14 times. This is the dangerous felon that they had to think. They had 14 cops here with guns, and the guy was on the ground, proned out with his hands out. They told him to stand up and release the dog on him. Somebody needs to go to jail every time this happens. See, they have limited immunity, and they know they can't get sued. 
And they know that government protects government and no DAs like to go after cops because the DAs and cops work together. I need, you know, DAs need cops to testify for them. They need cops to do investigations. They need to put them on the witness stand and, and give their side of the story and tell their lies and help get their convictions. So the DA needs the cops, so therefore they don't want to hold the cops accountable. This kind of conduct is the most outrageous and egregious out there because it's done with impunity and people can justify it because they do it to a real bad guy. This guy's an asshole. No problem. He's running from the cops at 100 miles an hour, uh, endangering the public. He's ramming people. He jumps out of a moving vehicle that could have ran over him. I get it. This guy's a jerk. It's not about the guy. It's about government power and abuse. Try to keep your eye on the ball, people. Oh, Roll on your belly. Oh, Roll on your belly. Oh, Roll on your belly. I move up. The dog rolled him on his belly. He didn't roll on his belly. If the dog hadn't rolled him, he'd still be over there getting bit. Freaking outrageous. Notice the slow walk. We have two dogs. Not one, two. Hang on, let me see who's calling. Okay, we're back. So we have a guy on the ground. We have three cops over here. Two dogs. One, two, three guns here, and I think two or three guns on the other side. Five guns, two dogs, a guy on the ground with no weapon involved that's been shot, chased, and was proned out. Out freaking rageous. Now, if this guy gets fed up and punches this dog, then all these cops would jump on him. There would be no more fear. I guarantee you, if this guy hit this dog or punched this dog, all these guys would be on. They'd probably dog him from the other side and five cops would jump on him. And they wouldn't be fearful. But for some reason, because it's payback, look at the calmness and the looking around and the pausing and the, ah, eh, this guy's getting chewed by a dog. You know what? Shit. Hey, man, did you have any of those sprinkled donuts left in your car? Because I want one after this. I mean, it's just outrageous at the way every cop... But, Rick, they're heroes, and they're all good, and there's only one bad. Okay, yeah. It, 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 we'll, we'll, let's, let's blame the dog. He ain't got a voice. The dog broke away from the handler and went and chased this guy. All the cops did perfect. It's just freaking outrageous. Notice, this officer went in while the dog was biting, no problem. All these other cops stayed back. Where's the fear? Where's the concern? Why didn't they do this earlier? If you can walk up while the dog's chewing, why didn't you do it? Why didn't the handler go get his dog earlier? Why? Because he's just a pesky citizen who cares. We're government. We have power. We get paid. We get paid if we screw up and they put us on days off. We get paid. If we commit a crime and go to jail, they pay us. Why should we care? You pesky citizens can't sue us. We've got immunity. The DA won't charge us because they need us. We've got to protect them. I'm telling you, people started over a freaking kid throwing a rock at a red coat and a red coat shot him. For those who don't know history, that's what got the people pissed. The Redcoats finally shot a kid for throwing a rock. And finally people stood up and said, enough's enough. It was the stepping stone for why we started this country. The Blue Coats, the Blue Line, is the current day modern Redcoats. And they are much worse than the Redcoats. The only thing they're not doing is seeking quarter in our houses and come up and live in our house, which will probably be the next thing that'll happen. Cops can just move into your house and live, and you have you can't do anything about it. It's just freaking outrageous. Please stop the dog! Please stop the dog! Please stop the dog! Sir, please stop the dog! That's a good boy. So the handler is saying, "Good boy, good boy." I got no problem with him saying, "Good boy." Because from training a dog, you need to reinforce positive. The dog's doing what he was told to do. So I got no problem with him saying good boy. 
I got a problem with him saying good boy while he's still chewing and he's not taking him off. While an officer has his knee on his back handcuffing and you got seven other officers there. That's my problem. That dude should not be canine. He should lose his dog and he should be charged, charged with assault under the color. This was an unjustified attack and every cop that watched this ought to be charged also. Ah, that's my good dog. Bullshit. Please, sir. Please, sir. Stop the dog. Please stop the dog. On a side note, this little red button here, if you press and hold that down, that's the uh, I need help thing. But anyway, I think ours were green. Uh, please stop the dog. Uh, 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 he's been shot where? He said he's been shot uh, in the head. So he's saying he's been shot in his hand. He's saying he can't breathe. Look at all these cops. Why did they have to use a dog, Rick, if there were so many cops there? Well, that's because you're an idiot. you got to ask that. They used it because they can, and they're not accountable, and they know nothing would happen. And why should they care? And they have the dog, and they got to use it, and they got to justify it, and it's cool. And I do all this training with all this cool stuff, and anytime I get a chance to use it, I'm going to use it. And if it's at the cost of you pesky citizens, tough shit. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And he's yelling the criminal motto, I can't breathe. Please, please, I don't have anything. He got his legs all looking at his head. Please. Hold him to the side. Roll on. There's something over here. I have my phone. So he can't breathe, but he's worried about his phone? Really? Sick. He's got something on his head. the way. Roll the other way. I noticed this earlier. Does this guy got two belt buckles on or two belts? There's a bolt belt here. And then if you go back, there's a bolt buck. Is that the same belt buckle? I have not think. He got his legs off. Huh. So there's a... It's on his front right. And then when they roll him over, it's on his left. What's this guy got two belt buckles? Rick, they're chewing up a man and you're worried about... I just thought it was odd. Somebody, you got water? Mark? Let's see, see his head. Go quick. Let's see your head. I just want to rinse this because this looks like it might be a... It's grazing or something. You guys get your paper? There, sit there. Stay right there. Huh? Why did you guys let the dog get me? Yeah, he's got a grease right here to the top. I was already there, down, bro. something in his arm. I was fucked up. What's this in his leg? You guys no, shoot me dog got him. seven times. Then you guys get the dog, get me. <laughs> Two seconds ago, he can't breathe. Now he's got his legal strategy panned out. <laughs> I don't get it. Rick, why are you laughing at? I'm just laughing. I'm like, dude, two seconds ago, you couldn't breathe. Now you got, why did you let him get me? I mean, he's laying out good arguments. You shoot me seven times, I'm laying on the ground. I give up. Why do you dog me? He's asking good questions. Unfortunately, two seconds ago, he couldn't breathe and he was running cars into people. I'm not saying he should have got bit. That's all. I was afraid of you guys. And look what you guys did. Huh? Huh? Okay, I want to get to where how many cops are here. One, two, three, four, five in this picture. There's a police car, police car. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, police car, five, six. Another one here. Um, two, four, six, seven. We got seven here. I don't know where this guy get wipes at. He has wipes. I can't freaking find wipes anywhere. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven here. We need more government. If we only had more training, half of these cops should be in training. That's it. And then we don't need them all here. We could just have them all in training all the time. Yeah, that's the that's the answer. All right, hang on. I, I I thought I saw more cops than that at one point, but maybe not. Nope. There's the big red truck, and then the big red truck came. Everything was safe and happy. Yay! More government. Wow. All right, we'll end that there. B.S. Government accountability, unjustified use of force, freaking outrageous. People, this is the things that people ought to see. It doesn't have the color issue. 
doesn't have that the poor man was black and they were picking on just because he was black, not because he had committed crimes, doesn't have that angle so it doesn't get carried. This is a government power abuse, non-accountability issue. Stop letting the media and these other idiots refocus you to make it about race, to make it about money, to make it about training, to make it about all these other issues. This is a lack of accountability and too much power with no consequences when you abuse it or overuse it. All right, we'll end out there.